Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn how to digitally sign our documents. We can digitally sign our documents by going to the Signatures panel right here, and then we can click on Sign Document. Then we can navigate to wherever we need to sign, for example, this area with a stamp. And we can put this box right here by clicking and holding and dragging our cursor to make this box. We'll immediately be in the sign dialog. But what if we made a mistake and we wanted to actually modify the size of our signature field? Well, we can click on cancel in this dialog. And you'll see that the signature field went from dark blue to light blue. This means that we're now in markup mode. And all we need to do is click on the add signature field button next to the sign document button in order to go back into forms mode. Now that the signature field is dark blue, we can click on it. We can see that there's yellow grips around it so we can adjust its size if we needed to, for example. We can also right click on the signature field and we're able to delete it. If you have Review Extreme, you can copy your signature field and you can paste it and use paste in place if you need to. I've actually added the shortcut right here on the upper left in order to place it on multiple pages. Then when I'm done modifying my signature field, all I have to do is press the escape key and it's going to turn from dark blue to light blue. Now we can click on the signature field and we can sign. First, I'm going to log in with my password. We can see our signature's appearance down here. And if it looks good, we can simply click OK. If we need to, we can also click on edit to change our signature's appearance. And we can ensure that all of our settings are correct. Once those settings are checked, we can click on OK, or if we don't need to change anything, we can click on Cancel. Let's make sure to also use the digital signature type and not document certification. Document certification isn't necessary, and it's going to prevent other people from creating signature fields, regardless of which option you use for document certification. So we're just going to use digital signature. Then we click OK, and I like to rename my files when I sign them. So I'm going to put underscore DS at the end of them. You can also move your files to an empty folder when you're finished signing. So I'm going to click on Save. I'm going to replace my existing files since I've done this before. And if I had third party authentication, then in my taskbar, that third party authentication would flash and I would click on it and type in my password there instead of signing in within the program itself. But because I don't have third party authentication, I simply signed in and then I sign my document. And this is my signature right here. I can click on it. I can also right click on it and I can clear it and validate it if I need to. And we can go back to the signatures panel and we can see that our signature is right here. We can click on the plus sign next to it and we can also click on the plus sign next to authority to check and see whether it's third party authenticated. My signature is not, so it only shows myself as the authority. It's only second party authenticated. If it was third party authenticated, we would see identifying information from that third party company right under authority, and then we would see our name. And this is how we can sign our documents digitally. Thanks very much for watching our tutorial on digitally signing documents with Bluebeam Review. Once again, my name is Ari, and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.